Hi, everyone. I'm Phoebe Chong Chua. You're listening to the Plant-Based Diet Podcast, and I am just so thrilled because, well, you know, anytime we're talking about plant-based eating, I just love it. We've got a fantastic partner on the line with us. Um, Live Fit Films, our video production company, is partnering with the San Diego Veg Festival. And this is only the second year that this has been done in San Diego, but it's an exciting new festival that's attracting hundreds of people out to it. In fact, I think they had about a 1,000 people last year. It's probably going to uh, be over that this year. It's coming up on Saturday, November 9th. It's from 10 o'clock to 5 o'clock in the North Park area. And now let me introduce the woman behind the San Diego Veg Fest, Director Linda Lee. Hi, Linda. How are you? Hi, I'm good. Thanks for having me, Phoebe. Oh, it's my pleasure. This is really exciting. I want to learn a little bit about how San Diego Veg Festival came to be. And I, I'm really quite surprised that we haven't had one until you decided to take action. Yes, there have been pockets of uh, veg-friendly uh, communities here in San Diego, uh, but we haven't had a full-fledged uh, festival. Uh, there are a lot of other cities around the country, such as you know San Francisco, Los Angeles, New York City, um, that do have regular, ongoing annual veg festivals. Um, considering how green we are in San Diego, I, too, was surprised that we didn't have one. So last year, a couple of volunteers and myself, we decided to organized one. And so that's how it came about. And we specifically chose for it to be in the fall time because many people may or may not know October is Vegetarian Awareness Month and November is Vegan Awareness Month. And we definitely wanted to support a compassionate, plant-based, cruelty-free lifestyle where people um, can eat more healthily, more compassionately, and more sustainably. Well, I want to talk a little bit about who's going to be there because I'm, I'm looking at your site, which, by the way, is San Diego Veg Festival.com, San Diego Veg Festival.com, in case you want to check that out. And there's so much on it, a um, lot of different things from artwork to authors, people like myself uh, representing the plant based diet will be there speaking. Give us an overview of what the day is going to be like. Um, we're kicking it off um, by having a lot of local community members speak. It's taking place at uh, North Park, uh, specifically along Herman Avenue, which is right behind the CVS and right in front of the Art Produce Garden. And there at the Art Produce Garden, there is an all-green sustainable hydroponics um, area, and the artist and, and art gallery owner there will be speaking on behalf of uh, North Park, because North Park actually is one of the few cities in the nation that was granted an uh, eco-green grant initiative to really implement uh, infrastructure and programming into the business district. So uh, that's Lynn. She will be speaking about that. And after that, we have a lot of other speakers that we've flown in from the East Coast, from the Bay Area, um, and also a few that are very local, too, to the community. And they will be discussing things such as um, awareness of where food comes from, what it means to take on a plant-based, compassionate lifestyle. Uh, we have, uh, we even have raw uh, uh, vegan chefs who will be doing cooking demos. We'll have um, cooking and sprouting workshops. Uh, we have an author who recently wrote a book about the economics of consuming meat uh, to our nation and to um, our, our pockets. So that will be interesting. We have naturopathic doctors as well who will be there who will discuss the scientific and health reasons behind uh, going green and eating a more plant-based diet, uh, as well as having um, some business development and, and um, uh, business startup 101 uh, Q&A sessions with uh, a very well-known uh, vegan uh, marketing uh, analyst. She's amazing. She's flying in from Atlanta. Uh, we also have uh, some local people as well. We have uh, an advocate who works uh, with cl very closely with a different uh, uh, activist here on the Meatless Monday campaign that was recently implemented in the San Diego Unified School District. So she will be there too speaking. Love it, love it. You have a lot of great stuff. One, one of the things I was noting on your flyer 
vegan cheese making, and that's always a great one because, you know, this festival will attract a variety of people, and not all people will be completely plant-based. Many are just coming into it. Many are starting to learn about the concept of eating a whole food plant-based diet. That has um, us thrilled over at the Plant-Based Diet. As you're well aware, we've launched a campaign moving forward into 2014 to recruit 1 million people to at least try what we're calling the plant-based lifestyle, which begins with not just the food you're eating, but sustainability, um, helping to give back to the community, being aware of where your thoughts are, getting your exercise in. And that brings me to ask you about greensteading. Tell us what greensteading is. So greensteading is uh, part of a larger movement in our nation. Um, you know, we use the term sustainability quite often, and a lot of times we have to ask what does that mean exactly. Um, so people usually take the first step by choosing to eat more green, and that's a very clear step and stance that they take, you know, to be more health conscious and also environmentally friendly. And going beyond that, besides eating, it's also taking on an entire lifestyle of wanting to commit to this, this green, sustainable uh, movement. And that's where green setting comes in. It's similar to its home setting counterpart, where you're creating things and building things that are, um, you know, all natural, uh, safe, and um, not necessarily organic, but, but definitely toxic-free and chemical-free in your home such as cleaning supplies, such as using everyday parts like candles um, and those things of that nature, like shampoo as well, so beauty products, etc. And so we wanted to incorporate that component, the lifestyle component, to our veg festival. So it's not just about eating. It's also about taking on this entire lifestyle of being green and sustainable. And green setting is different from home setting in that there is no um, animal husbandry, meaning you're not... You're not um, you're not feeding livestock and you're not, you don't have live animals um, incorporated into your lifestyle. It's more so eliminating those animal products as well um, to have a more cruelty-free, compassionate lifestyle. Yeah. However, we also understand that, you know, it's a process. And so we are not here to, uh, to condone or to, um, uh, you know, evangelize anyone. We're simply here to educate the community, to give them resources, and from there for people to make decisions that, you know, that are best for themselves and their families and their direct community and friends. This is a, a move, what I'll call a movement. It, re, it really is. It's becoming something that many of us are passionate about. I know you are, Linda. Um, I am over at the Plant-Based Diet. Uh, it's something that has affected me in a very positive way. Um, I've been practicing for over 11 years this style of living, and it's changed every area of my life for the better. And it's, it's really hard to explain to people when you first start out. It's kind of like doing yoga, practicing yoga. Um, there's a lot of benefits that you receive on the mat with yoga, a lot of benefits that you receive from eating a plant-based diet, like losing weight, like having lower blood pressure, like um, having a lot of energy. But it also transforms your life to be more aware and ultimately what I refer to as helping people to create a better you, which in turn creates a better world. So that's why we've all come together. Linda, um, you have an event that's coming up, and it, it's coming up quickly. It's this Saturday. It's a Halloween fest. Is that right? Yeah. It, it's, not, it's more of a get-together <laughs> than a fest. Um, we've partnered up with a local brewery here in San Diego, called Modern Times Brewery. They recently opened um, probably a little bit over a month ago in the Point Loma area. And what's special about that is that the owner is uh, vegan. His name is Jacob. And so he uh, really wanted to incorporate that mission into his beers and the way that he, um, you know, does his craft beers. And so what, what ended up happening is he has now labeled all of his beers, vegan certified beer, um, and he's allowed for it to go in, into tasting contests across the nation. It's doing very well, and so we were quite excited when they opened. So we are partnering up with them uh, to have a Halloween uh, vegan-themed party where you can come out, um, mingle, eat good vegan food, and also drink, and also get more information about the upcoming Veg Festival. You can also purchase uh, tickets there for the Veg Festival, and tickets are only $5 if you purchase it uh, beforehand. Otherwise, at the door, it's $6.00. 
And then we also have VIP tickets, too, for those who like to get up close and personal with the authors, speakers, the programming, and that's $15. You can find all that information on our website at SanDiegoVegFestival.com. Well, you can't beat the price. That's outstanding. And you also can't beat what you'll be doing for your health, for your body, for your mind, and ultimately the planet and all of us living on it. So, Linda, thank you so much. San Diego Veg Festival, that's coming up on Saturday, November 9th. Uh, 10 o'clock to 5 o'clock in the North Park area of San Diego. I encourage you to take a look. You can see more about it on San Diego VegFest.com and also on the PlantBasedDiet.com. Thank you so much for being with us. We look forward to participating, and we will see you out there. Thank you, Phoebe, for having me. You can find a lot more information on our website. We also have our veg uh, official VegFest brunch. The the day after at Casa de Luz, and we also have a lot lot of other great uh, programming information. So check out our website, and you can also check out our Facebook as well. Perfect. Thank you so much, Linda. Have a great one, and we will see you out there. Until then, eat fit, keep fit, and live fit. You're listening to The Plant-Based Diet. 